and we are here today with my March 3 one. Okay, you guys, so the March 3 one topic was created by Sherry from Sherry Walker here on BookTube, and she also created a Goodreads group called BookTubers from Around the World, which is where this, like, I don't know if you call it a tag, but that's where this originated from. And this month's topic is books you regret buying, and I have been doing it since January. Now, I haven't filmed, I haven't filmed the reviews. I didn't film the reviews for January and February, but I did put them on my blog. I did film the review for February, but I didn't end up posting it because when I looked at it, it was really, really dark. And when I tried to change the lighting on Windows Movie Maker, I didn't like how it was coming out. So I just deleted it and didn't upload it, but I did put it on my blog. But this month, I was like, I'm going to do it early. I'm going to do it bright so it's going to look good and it's going to be beautiful. So here we are. Now, you guys. The whole point of the March 3-in-1 topic, 3-in-1 is that you get one topic and you pick three books or three things, whatever, you know, pertains to the topic that's under that one topic. It's very, it's fun. You guys should try to do it. I really do like it. It's fun. I have done it every month. It's a monthly thing, so it's not anything you do every week. It is a monthly kind of thing you do, and it is fun, so you guys should definitely try it. I am going to link her booktube channel, and I'm going to link the Goodreads group in the description box below. Okay, guys, first I'm going to start out with the absolute worst book that I regret buying, and I'm going to, like, work my way up to the... There are books that I didn't, that I regret buying, but, you know, I'm going to start from the worst and work my way up to the better. So, the first book that I regret buying, I don't even have a copy of it anymore. I gave it away both of the copies that I had in the series, and that is The Sorceress, which is book three of The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flam Flamel. I think that's how you say his name. Series, but it's by Michael Scott. And I gave this a one out of five stars. I read this a while ago, and it's a book I DNF'd also, because I just, I did not like it. So, you didn't like it either, baby? Yeah? Okay, so, Really and truly, like, I, I hated this book. Like, the first book is The Alchemist. I like that book. I gave that one a three out of five stars. I was like, okay, I like how they, you know, they throw their stuff in, like, Shakespeare and stuff. Like, it was, it I really didn't like it. But I got this third book, which is The Sorceress, thinking it was the second book, but didn't know until I started reading. I was like, I'm so lost. What? What happened to all the stuff that happened at the end of the first book? And then I realized the third book. And I don't even know. And I say this. I don't know if it's just because I skipped the second book. That I didn't like the third book. Or it's just I didn't like the book at all. Now, I don't know if I want to go back and try to read the series again. I'm not sure. I don't think I do. But, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Since I did skip a whole book, maybe that's why I didn't like the third book. But I don't I don't know. And I definitely don't want to buy books again. And I really do end up not liking the books. And I'm going to regret buying those also. So, I don't know. Um, I did do a review for it on Goodreads, which <laughs> it's kind of harsh. But, I mean, when I don't like a book, I don't like a book. And I'm going to tell y'all about it. So, y'all should go and look at my review on Goodreads about it. I can't even tell you what it's about. I just know it's like this magic stuff and it involves these twins that is something with their auroras that make them like really strong and stuff i don't even remember what it's all about so you got i'll link it in a good read in the description below with a good reasoning to it so you guys can go and see what it's about and see if y'all might like it because i did kind of like the first book but i don't know but the second book that i regret buying is a book that i read year before last for halloween in october with my spooky reads and that is the Body in the Woods by April Henry, and I gave this book a three out of five stars, I think, did I? No, I gave this book a two out of five stars, okay? And the reason I gave this book a two out of five stars is because I thought it was gonna be more creepy. I thought it was gonna be like a real creepy murder mystery, but it really wasn't. I did say it kinda makes you more paranoid than anything. It doesn't make you scared, but I thought it was gonna make me feel like scared and creeped out, you know? But it's about these three um, students, Alex, Nick, and Ruby. And at first, I thought they were going to start off best friends, but they weren't. They were not like a best friend group or whatever. They just happened to go to the same school, and they're all in the same search and rescue group, which is how this is all starts. So they're supposed to be searching this with this autistic man that got lost in the woods, and they happen to be paired up in the same group together. And instead of them finding the autistic man, they find a dead uh, girl in the woods. So that's how everything starts, and they try to solve why this girl died and what happened their self which you know kind of throws them in like a bad 
position as it sounds but I thought it was going I just got really annoyed with some of the characters and I got irritated with some of the characters and I just wish this wasn't a book that I had bought I, I could have just checked this out from the library and I think I would have you know been fine about it but I just wish this wasn't a book that I spent my money on because I thought it was actually going to be something really good I do want to kind of read the second book because now they're supposed to be framing Nick in the second book for a murder and I, I don't want to buy it though. I want to see if the library has it. I want to check it out. I don't want to buy it though because I don't want to waste my money on it. Because this one I think I'm going to like give away because I don't, I don't, mm, it didn't really do too much for me. The last book that I regret buying and the most embarrassing book that I regret buying because y'all know I love these books so much. And this is a novella that came out in the series. And it's the only novella that came out in this series. <laughs> Y'all kind of embarrassed to say that I regret buying this book. Because I love this series. I'm so embarrassed to say this. But. I regret buying Cruel Crown by Victoria Aviard. Guys, I feel so bad. Y'all know I love this series. Y'all know I love this series. But. I didn't like this novella. I gave it a three out of five stars though because now it's, it's you. It's like two novellas wrapped up into one. It's Queen's Songs and Still Scars. Queen's Songs is about Kel's mother, and Still Scars is about Farley and you know her dad and stuff. I didn't like Still Scars. I loved Queen's Songs because you know I would I wanted to know more about Kel's mother because you know they don't say much about her. They don't say like you know what happened to her. They just say you know it was rumors that you know Queen Alara killed her. Or whatever but you guys I I, lo I loved Queen songs but I did not I hated still scars I did not like still scars I wish still scar wasn't there like I didn't really care about I don't think still scars needed a whole novella to talk about father's father and her her family's relationship I don't think they did like that I think if it was just Queen song I would have loved it because I loved Queen songs but that's why I ended up giving it three out of five stars because I loved that one so much but still scars I did not like um she could have kept that one out and I feel bad to say I regret buying it but I kind of regret buying it like if Queen song was by itself I wouldn't regret buying it but just because they're together I'd be like mm, I don't know maybe I shouldn't have bought it it wasn't what I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to knock my socks off because Red Queen knocks my socks off Glass Sword knocked my socks off like I just thought this novella was going to do the same thing for me and I'm like just and I feel so bad to say that I regret buying it. Like, I, I know you guys never thought that that would be in anything I regret. I regret about any kind of book. Y'all never thought anything by Victoria Aviard would be in that list. But I'm sorry, but Cruel Crown is in that list. I'm so sorry. I really am. What's wrong, baby? I'm sorry, guys. She just, she's being a butt right now. She did really good the first video. She was laughing and smiling with me after. And it's like now she doesn't want her face in the camera. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't, she, and her, she got in her feelings all of a sudden. I have no idea what for, but it just happened. See? And she agrees. But you guys, that was my March 3 and 1. I'm happy that we could do this video for you guys this month because I tried to do it last one. It didn't work out. So hopefully this one I like when I go to edit it and you guys get to see it. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching the video and sticking in there for this. Especially my last embarrassing um, buying regret that I had. But you guys. I just want to let y'all know ahead of time, I have a freaking amazing book haul coming up. And I told y'all this is going to happen. This is It's going to be my postpartum book haul because I haven't bought any books. I didn't really buy any books like talking about while I was pregnant anyway. But I was dying when I was on like my maternity leave and I couldn't. Because even though I was pregnant, I would buy like one book here and one book there. But y'all, not only did I go back to work, but it was income tax season. And y'all know what that'd be like. Y'all know what that be like. So I have a really good book haul coming up. And it's supposed to get here tomorrow, which is Friday. Today's Thursday. I'm filming this. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. I'm probably going to upload this maybe Sunday. Because I have a video that I'm uploading before this that I want to get out there. You know, before it's too late. Um, what you know about that? But um, that book that book haul is coming up. I'm probably going to film that one Monday. Because I'm off Monday. I work the whole weekend. So I'm probably going to film that one Monday or Tuesday. Depending depend on how I feel. Uh, it might be Tuesday because I do try to give myself a day to rest after I work. So I might be filming that Tuesday. But y'all. Y'all going to see this video next week. This book haul. Y'all going to. 
I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm gonna give my I'm not even gonna talk about it, I'm gonna give it away. And that's just part one because I wanna get some stuff from Book Outer, but I'm waiting to do that. I'm gonna wait like maybe a few weeks, <laughs> maybe like two weeks or three weeks before I go to Book Outlet because I have some books in my cart at Book Outlet that I wanna get. But that's probably gonna be like a that's probably gonna be like a next month haul because it's probably when I'm gonna get it. I don't wanna go overload and go crazy. But thank you guys for watching my video with us and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Can you get out of your feelings long enough to tell everybody bye? Say, look how big I've gotten since the last video. Yeah, say bye-bye. Okay, I think that's all we get. Okay.